Hello everyone, this is Eric from webdesignhero.com and today we're going to talk about JURL Shortener, a new component for Joomla 1.5. So right here we've set up a demo server using example.com and first we're just going to run through the installation. Standard Joomla installation, but uh, we'll just go through it real quick anyway. So we're going to go to the back end, go to the extension manager, find the path where you downloaded it from, upload and install, and you should be good to go. So now we can go to the components menu and actually select JRL Shortener, and you'll see we have four icons here. The um, first one is for the general settings. We have some statistics, really basic statistics. Um, you can prune the URLs and the help documentation back on the website. Now we'll take care of the initial setup for JURL Shortener. We're going to select General Options and a modal window will pop up. The first option asks you to select a Joomla menu item associated with JRL Shortener. This is used to create the alias prefix for your short URLs. So we just installed JRL Shortener, there are no menu items yet, so we have to go to the menu manager to add one. For right now, we'll add our menu item to the main menu. On the menu type screen, select JURL Shortener, and from the sub-menu, select Direct Redirect. We'll go over the other options later. Now we need to configure the menu item. First, let's set the title, which is shown on the actual menu. Next, we manually set the alias. This will prefix all short URLs that we create, and we want to make it as short as possible. So we'll just use the word go. Now, let's save our menu item. You can see that our new menu item was created and is of the type go to URL and is using a direct redirect. Now, let's switch to the front end and load up our component. We'll click on the menu item we just created and load up the JURL Shortener creation screen. Now we'll create a short URL. Let's just use Google for now. You can see the short URL we created isn't really that short, so let's finish configuring JURL Shortener. Let's switch back to the back end and go to the global configuration. On the right side of the screen, we have the SEF URL options. We want to enable the first two options here. In order for short URLs to work properly, you must enable .ht access. To enable .ht access, all you have to do is go to the files in your Joomla instances root folder on your web server and rename the file htaccess.txt to .ht access. We are using SSH in this example, but you should also be able to do this with your FTP software or by mounting a remote folder. Now we'll save our settings and let's go back to the front. Let's click on our menu item and we'll use google.com again as an example. As you can see, the URL is prettier, but we have one last thing to do before we have the shortest URLs. On the back end, we will return to the JURL Shortener General Settings. Now that we have created a menu item, it will appear in the drop-down list for the first option. So let's select it and then hit Save. Let's return to the front end and navigate back to the JURL Shortener creation screen. We will use google.com as our example again. This time, notice we have a very short URL consisting of our domain name, the menu item alias we set, and a small shortcode. Now we can copy and paste our newly created short URL into a new tab and test it out. When you hit the enter or the go button, your server is first queried before redirecting the browser to the original URL. Let's try out another URL. This time we will use joomla.org. We copy and paste our short URL into a new tab, and then we hit go. Once you have everything set up, it's really easy to create new short URLs to any web page on the internet. Now, let's see what happens if you select the redirect with header option for your menu item. In the back end, let's go to the menu manager, select the main menu, and find the menu item we created for JURL Shortener. Let's click to edit this link, and click the change type button. This time, we will select Redirect with Header. Now, let's save our changes. Notice that our menu items type is now set to Go to URL and is now using Redirect with Header. Let's switch to the front end and see what happens when we create a new short URL. 
We'll copy and paste this new short URL into a new tab and load it up. Notice the default JURL shortener header is now displayed at the top of the page. Also, because the original page is rendered in an iframe, the visitor is still actually on your website. Now, let's take a look at some of the other general settings for JURL shortener. Let's click on the general settings button to bring up the modal window. We already configured the first option, so let's now move on to the second option for caching. In most cases, you will want to leave this option set to no caching. Only if you have a large database and notice performance problems should you test the effects of enabling caching. The third option, Lock to IPs, can be used to restrict who has access to the short URL creation screen. I will now demonstrate what happens when you add IPs here and your IP address is not on the list. On the front end, when you attempt to go to the short URL creation screen, you will receive a 403 error because your IP is not on the list. Let's go back to the administration screen and change entry so that only this IP address can access the creation screen now. When we return to the front end screen and refresh the page, we can now access the creation screen because our IP address is on the list. Now, let's return to the Joomla backend to look at the statistics screen. At the top of the page, we can see the count of the total number of short URLs which have been created. Underneath this, there are two lists. The list on the left shows the most used URLs sorted by their hit count. The list on the right shows the most recently visited URLs. Note that both lists will show the original URLs, not the shortened URLs. Now, let's look at how we prune the short URL database by removing old and unpopular entries. On the purging screen, we will set two criteria to determine which URLs to remove. The first option sets how old a short URL entry must be, and the second option sets the hit count threshold. More entries are deleted as the number of days gets smaller and the number of hits grows larger. Let's go ahead and delete some entries. Notice that after we click the purge button, a message shows us how many URLs were deleted. We can now go back to the statistics screen and see that the same results are reflected in the total count at the top of the page. I want to thank you for watching this demo and overview. To learn more about JURL Shortener and see additional documentation, please visit webdesignhero.com.